All right, this is standard 18, which is solving two-step inequalities. Just like we've been doing with one step, um, we're just going to move on to two steps. So it's similar to equations, except, except those um, graphing the inequalities part. Okay, so just a quick review. Um, if multiplying or dividing by a negative number, then we flip the inequality sign like you've been doing. The second thing I wanted to review was make sure the variable is always on the left side before we graph. Um, and if that means you need to flip everything because it's on the right. And then last but not least, if it's just less than or greater than, it is an open circle. But if it's less than or equal to or greater than and equal to, then it is a closed circle when graphing. All right, example one. Okay, we, saw, we start by solving this just like um, two-step equation. So this is a big fraction one. So I'm going to multiply by positive nine on both sides to cancel that out. I'm going to bring down my P minus eight. My greater than or equal to sign stays the same because I'm not multiplying by a negative number. I'm multiplying by a positive number. But negative one times nine is negative nine. And then I'm going to add eight to both sides to get P by itself. So we get P is greater than or equal to negative one. Okay, this is greater than or equal to. So when I, it's on the left side, the variable's on the left side, so we're good. And I'm going to graph my circle at negative one. And it's going to be closed because it is an equal to. And it's everything that's greater than negative one. And so to the right side here is negative one, is greater than negative one, so I'm going to shade to the right. All right, example two. Um, this is a little fraction, so I start with the number that is away from the variable. So I'm going to cancel out this 3 by subtracting on both sides. So I get 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Bring down my less than sign there. And then we have our x over 3. And so x divided by 3, so to cancel that out, we multiply both sides by 3. So we now have negative 6 less than x. Okay, and then if you notice, my variable is on the right side. So we're going to flip this. And when you flip it, you flip everything. So you, this is now going to be x is greater than negative 6. These are the same thing. This is just the way that we're going to write it in order to graph. So what that means is everything bigger or greater than negative six. So I'm gonna plot my point at negative six and it's going to be an open circle because it's only greater than and not an equal to. And everything greater than negative six would be to the right side. These numbers are greater than negative six so we're gonna shade those in. All right, example three, we're gonna um, start by adding 6 over to the other side because our goal is to get p by itself. So negative 30 plus 6, we're going to bring down negative 24, bring down my less than or equal to sign there, and my negative 6p. And then I'm going to, um, this negative 6 times p, so we're going to of course divide by negative 6 to cancel it out. So negative 24 divided by negative 6 is positive 4. But notice I divided by a negative number here. So I'm going to now flip my sign and make it greater than or equal to. Bring down my P. And so we're almost done, except we don't want to leave it like this. We want our variable on the, on the left side. So I'm going to rewrite this as P, flip my sign, less than or equal to 4. And this is what I'm going to graph. I'm going to put my circle on 4. It's going to be a closed circle because there's an equal to symbol. And then everything less than 4, so it's everything less than 4 is to the left. 
All right, example four, we are going to, it's another big fraction one, so we're going to multiply both sides by the denominator, which is 5. All right, so we have 25 greater than x plus 6. And, of course, we're going to subtract 6, subtract 6, so we get 19 greater than x. But, again, the variable's on the right side, we want on the left, so we're going to rewrite it, flipping everything x is less than 19. All right, so we're going to plot our point at 19, and it is going to be an open circle because there's no equal to. And this says x is less than 19, so we're going to shade everything that's less than 19, so we're going to shade to the left. All right, I want you to pause the video and try these four problems. All right, example one, we're going to it's a big fraction, so we're going to multiply both sides by the denominator. Multiply by 14. So bring down our negative 6 plus b is less than or equal to positive 14. And we want b by itself. We're going to add 6, add 6. So b is less than or equal to 20. And this is a less than or equal to sign, so it's going to be closed circle. And it's everything that's less than 20, so we're going to shade to the left. All right, the second example, um, we're going to go ahead and start with adding 3 to both sides. So negative 19 plus 3 is negative 16. Greater than sign, we're going to bring down negative 8p. And now to cancel that negative 8, we're going to divide both sides by negative 8. So negative 16 divided by negative 8 gives me positive 2. You should have noticed that you divided by a negative number, so we're going to flip our sign and then bring down our P. And now, of course, we want the P on the left side, so we're going to rewrite this as P is greater than 2. And this is what we're going to graph. So our point is on 2. It's an open circle because it's just greater than, not equal to. And it's everything greater than 2, so of course to the right. Example 3, it's a little fraction, so we're going to start with the number away from the variable. So add 8 to both sides. So bring down our n over 2. And our less than or equal to sign, negative 18 plus 8 is negative 10. And to, and to get n by itself, that's n divided by 2, so we're going to multiply to cancel out. So n is less than or equal to negative 20. I want you to notice I did not flip my sign because I didn't multiply by a negative number. I multiplied by a positive number. Just because the number neg is negative over here doesn't mean we flip the sign. The variable is on the left, so we're good to graph. So at negative 20, I'm going to put a closed circle. And I'm going to shade everything to the left because it says n is less than negative 20. And the last example, it's a big fraction, so we're going to multiply by the denominator on both sides to cancel out. So we have n minus 1 is less than or equal to 15. And of course, we're going to add 1 to both sides. So n is less than or equal to 16. So that is a closed circle because it does have the equal to sign. It says n is less than, so everything to the left. Alright, that is two-step inequalities.